Hello guys, it is Modest Major here, bringing you a commentary over some Binary Slayer. Um, it is a 16 and 2. It's the first action sack gameplay that I have posted to my channel. Isn't that exciting? Yay! Just like the grunt birthday party noise, I bet you're all screaming at your keyboards right now. I know I am. Yeah! Woohoo! This is awesome! Thank God they got rid of grunt birthday party. Thank God! What were they thinking? They did not playtest that for even a second, because they would have gone insane. They just thought, hey, do you remember that... The guy who came up with the idea, I just want to punch in the face. It's just like, uh, hey, do you remember that grump birthday party noise? What if we added it to every player? It was like a fiesta party. Woo! And then everyone just looked at him awkwardly for a while and then was just like, fine, we'll add it in. George has come up with another terrible idea. I'm just calling him George. He could be anyone. Or like Gary with Schmeckeldorf. Yeah, I'll name him Gary because that's Schmeckeldorf's name for those kind of people. Um... But yeah, uh, Action Sack, I don't know. Action Sack feels like a playlist where there is a lot of missed potential in it. Um, a lot of missed potential. And Halo 3, I freaking adored Action Sack. For three reasons. One, it was unranked. Why is it ranked on this game pl this, uh, playlist? I will never understand. Why do you need to play ranked Action Sack? It's not like it is based for competitive settings. I'm running around with a thruster pack with a binary rifle in my hand on complex... It's ridiculous. This is not supposed to be balanced. This is not supposed to be playing better and better players. It's not like I'm going to improve in the MLG freaking action sack circuit. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Um, the other thing for me is um, the, the the lack of community integration. It felt like for me, Halo 3, there were so many well-made uh, community maps and so many good... Uh, choices that you got to experience like I wasn't very good at finding custom games and I didn't really I wasn't part of the community that loved the custom games I used to only play the ones that everyone knew like fat kid and certain infection game types on like haunted mansion and stuff like that I was never that big into it So it was really cool in action sack to be able to uh, be shown all these cool maps that the community were cooking up and yeah, I just quite frankly enjoyed that and it just seems like in this, um, you know, there's, there's not much of that. There's not much. They don't seem to be working outside of the box. I think the best thing about Action Sack was it gave them the opportunity for uh, cartographers to be able to, um, you know, think outside the box. Offer a playing experience that maybe was completely different. It could have been ridiculous. could have been entirely unbalanced, but you didn't get a play in matchmaking. And it was good to cool down from regular matchmaking. Matchmaking could be so serious and um, competitive in Halo 3 that you really did need to cool down every so often because, I don't know, if you got too into it and you got a lot of losses in a row, it was kind of crushing. Whereas Action Attack was just, come on, it's an unranked playlist, let's have some fun, let's try out some crazy new maps and crazy new playlists. I, I remember I was introduced to so many good playlists through Action Sack and so many good things. And I'd just be like, yes, I'm going to download this playlist in a second because that was awesome. Um, and it just it just doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like the... Uh, I don't think they've taken... I don't know if some of the suggestions for these type of game types were community-based. But quite frankly, stuff like Lightning Flag and... Um, uh, Lightning Flag, what's the other ones? Fiesta. I mean, Fiesta works pretty well in this game. Uh, Lightning Flag, I don't know. Lightning Flag just feels a little bit disappointing to me. I mean, it's good for racking up multi-kills and having a few insane experiences. But at the same time, it's action, Zach. I want to cool down. And some people play that so defensively, especially as CSR is a part of the playlist, that people will just like hide around a corner. You'll be running around on Haven. You could go straight around a tight corner. Boom, headshot. Oh, no, not even headshot, sorry. Just boom, foot shot. Shoot you in the foot. Dead. It's, it's slightly insane, and to me it just feels like a more stressed out version of SWAT almost, like SWAT, I don't know, like, I, 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 I'm not necessarily the biggest fan, it doesn't feel ridiculous enough, Action Sack to me should just be ridiculous, it should be a complete change from the pace of multiplayer, and the thing is, the Halo 4 engine works so well for that sort of thing, I just, whenever I play some ridiculous custom game, the more ridiculous it is, the more fun it is, because Halo 4 with the engine, the great graphics, the atmosphere, the music, the sound design, it's so easy to get carried away with the atmosphere. It's so easy to um, to get carried away with the plot of a custom game. Like, 
you, like, for example, I played a maze game where a mantis chases you around. You know, normally, if that was in Halo 3 and I was being chased around by a warthog, I'd be like, yeah, that's pretty cool. In Halo 4, it's like, help me, somebody help me, I'm being chased by a mantis! And it becomes, like, Godzilla mode or something like that. It becomes, it's just insane. And Halo 4 pulls off Ridiculous so well. It just, it's the master of Ridiculous. Because, to some degree, the competitive multiplayer can be slightly ridiculous um, at times due to ordnance. But, oh well, that's just my opinions. I hope you guys can see where I'm coming from. I've been Modest Major. Thank you for watching. Bye.